earn some Robux by making your game super popular on Roblox? If your answer is yes, then this video is purely for you. Hey Roblox family! How are you all doing? I hope you are having a great time making your own game on Roblox and thinking about how to make it popular on Roblox. But don't worry, I have got your back since I'm gonna make the second hurdle how to make your game popular on Roblox a lot easier by sharing some of the tips and tricks to that. So are you ready to know that? Yes, so go on and tighten your seatbelts since you need to watch this video till the end as all steps are related and the last one is going to be the super important step in the row. Now without making any more delays, let's just get right into the video. So the first thing you need to take care of is that you make something that your Roblox playing community enjoys a lot. You need to know why people come to Roblox and spend money and play games. The answer is for entertainment and fun, so focus more on making your game enjoyable. Nowadays, beginner developers think that making a mysterious and difficult game will solve their purpose and take their game to the top. But this is totally silly of them to think. The thing that players want is everything in a single game but in a small quantities. So try to mix genres and make a new game. You should try to make a round-based game because this will motivate players to play your game more and more. And this is what you need. The next tip is something about the practice that harms your reputation on Roblox and if you are a beginner, don't try to do this at all. It is copying others' games. Nowadays, a trend is coming up where many game creators take a game and make a copy of that game with a different name and environment. Some of the examples of games where the concept was similar to other most popular games like Mad City are not very popular which contain the same concept as Jailbreak and even Row Citizens and Roville, which are very similar to Bloxburg. As you can see, the copy games are not liked by regular players because they have played these types of games previously. So try to make something entertaining and new. The new games are made by supply-on-demand policy where players give the genres and the type of game they want and developers make these games. Here comes the tip that is gonna make your game more interesting and realistic. It's the use of script and code in your games. Scripts and codes are like ornaments of a game. These are something that provides a realistic feel. So try to add up scripts and codes in your game if you are not good enough to write the script, then you can hire a script writer. If you go through some popular games like Piggy, you will find this feature there and believe me, this matters a lot. So go on and add scripts and codes in your game to make it the best in the Roblox gaming community. Better the face, better the traffic. So work hard on having a good thumbnail for your game. This is the most important part of the game because the thumbnail is something that makes the first impression of a particular game on the player since it is the image that is displayed on the game's head. So make sure that the thumbnail you are using should contain some information about the game in visual image form and that images should be a super high quality and of course entertaining. Also make sure to add most of the items in your game on the character you are displaying in the thumbnail. This is the next step that will make your game approachable to all the players. So, advertise your game as much as possible so that your game comes in the top lists of the games. The best way to do is to approach the most famous YouTubers and pay them to play your game and review it in front of the players who are watching those videos. You can also sign the agreement with the YouTubers where you can offer them some percentage of your game credits. This is the way most players opt to make their game most played. Why stay behind? Try this out. Many developers don't think it's bar, but as my last tip, I would like to suggest that you should spend your time reading the genuine reviews of your game. After making the game and doing all the advertising things, developers think that their work is over. But that's not true, since the reviewers on your game will let you know the parts where you lack in the game. So it is the part that will help you increase the quality of your game. Always spare some time to read the reviews of players who played your game, since from here, you will get to know about the bugs and glitches of your game, and then you can delete and cure all the problems and bugs your game is facing to make it foolproof and loved by all. This was all for the video, which tip 
did you think was most effective? Tell us in the comment section below and go on smashing the like and subscribe button if you liked the video and want more super crazy and super interesting stuff like this. Also, switch on the bell icon to get our videos as soon as it is uploaded. See you guys in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and keep playing.